All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of April the 17th, 2023. Brian and Michaela back with you. And Michaela, last week you were out of town on spring break. Uh, what'd you get up to? Did you drink anything good beachside? I know you wanted a fancy daiquiri with some fruit in it. And if you're on our Discord, you saw that you had just that. I Yeah, uh, I did. I had a lot of wonderful concoctions that were pink in nature. I had this really fun drink made with sake it was like a sake ginger lime almost like a margarita but with sake and it was amazing mm-hmm. um yes it was really lovely i got to sit at the beach i got to have a really lovely peach daiquiri um we covered okay. a daiquiri just a couple of weeks ago at the lobby bar which is uh not uh fruity necessarily at all um but i added some peach nectar to one i had them blend it up and it was really really tasty i'm really into peach lately yeah well you are in the right part of the country for peaches uh they're growing fresh uh down there we're coming into peach season you can stop at the roadside stand and get some peaches uh maybe we'll have to do like a whole cocktail spread of uh peach cocktails someday but uh i don't know i'm glad that you had an excellent time that sounds good i myself just stayed home uh had some drinks watched uh the marvelous mrs Maisel. uh all caught up on the first three episodes of that absolutely loving it and also sad at the same time that it's ending uh but not too sad because we've got some more cocktails coming for the lobby bar this week michaela you know i mentioned the discord you were posting some pictures of the stuff you were having on spring break um and you know kind of the community we've got on discord uh seems to be really big into uh ginger ale and ginger beer so i thought what better drink to have in the lobby bar this week uh than a ginger beer cocktail this comes from townandcountrymag.com and it is called the rosy glow michaela and it has all of our favorite things in it it's got uh, grapefruit um it's got ginger beer it is pink it is it's all the best things so rosy glow is all the best things Yeah, absolutely. So what you're going to do is you're going to take seven or eight raspberries, throw those into your shaker tin, uh, give them a muddle with your muddler, and then you're going to put in one and a half ounces of Kettle One Botanical Grapefruit and Rose, a half ounce of lime juice, three dashes of Angostura bitters, and then you're going to uh, put that in with some ice, shake it up, strain it into a wine glass. Uh, you can fill that up with some fresh ice if you want. Top that with ginger beer, and then you're going to garnish it with either some uh, lime or some ginger or a couple of those raspberries on like a toothpick kind of thing. Just make it look fancy, but uh, you're going to do that. You're going to sip, and you're going to enjoy. And it's a, it's a really light, uh, kind of effervescent from that ginger beer. It's got the grapefruit. It's one of our favorite things. A, a touch of bitterness from those Angostura bitters. What do you think about this rosy glow, Michaela? I think it is rosy ridiculous. It's so <laughs> it's <good>. rose ridiculous. <laughs> it's rose ridiculous. Um, uh, it, it is all the things that I love. I mean, it the color is beautiful. I think it's great as we're starting to feel the heat um, more in this part of the world. Anyway, I mean, I guess there was a blizzard on the other half of America. Sorry about it, uh, but. We had uh, like it's not it was 90 yesterday. So this is perfect. Um, It's just a really nice balance. It's not too bitter. It kind of reminds me of like a grapefruity Aperol spritz almost because it's Mm, definitely mm -hmm. got that bitterness and sourness to it. But it's also got that fruity undertones. The raspberries are really fun. Um, you, sh- if, you know, du- you want to double strain it maybe so you can not get the raspberry bits in your teeth. But other than that, this was a, this was an A plus. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, this is an A+. Plus, and that is exactly what I was thinking about the uh, Aperol Spritz there, kind of akin to that. And if you wanted to do this um, alcohol-free, you could totally turn this into a mocktail. Uh, just skip the uh, the vodka, uh, grapefruit and rose, and just use uh, one and a half ounces of just like some fresh-pressed grapefruit juice. Uh, that's going to be uh, right there in the same ballpark for you. And this is going to be delicious and hit all those notes, and it'll be perfect as we are getting into summer. And you know what else is uh, pretty perfect, Michaela? We talked about it on the main show uh, this past week. That is Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Uh, it is uh, leading the whole world, the charge through the box office. Mario and Luigi are getting their power ups and heading to town. Eighty seven more million dollars uh, this weekend, which bumps it up to three hundred and forty seven million uh, domestic, six hundred and seventy seven million dollars uh, international. So Super Mario Brothers, uh, it, it's doing OK. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations to uh, everybody who made that film, because it you just said it was like the most amazing box office like opening for any animated picture ever Mm. of all time. Um, And we talked a little bit about this before we started recording, but you said that it it really makes sense because it, it 
has a demographic of pretty much anybody, right? Like kids are going to like it. Adults that, you know, are our age are going to like it. Um, people who were maybe adults in the eighties are also going to love it because mm -hmm. that's, I mean, who doesn't love video games? Um, that was like a whole thing. Um, so it's well done. I mean, I'm not surprised that it's done as well as it has. I mean, I'm a little surprised that it's like the best uh, of animated film of all time, mm -hmm. but kind of mm -hmm. not. I don't know. It's it's a fun ride. So if you haven't seen it, uh, add to the eighty seven million dollars next week. <laughs> <laughs> add to add to the eighty seven million dollars. You can uh, listen to our podcast where we talk about it. Do a couple of really good cocktails, a cocktail and a mocktail. We did an awesome uh, milkshake for it in the lobby bar uh, last week. So search those out and uh, find out more about Super Mario Brothers and our thoughts on it. Uh, the rest of the weekend, Pope's Exorcist and Renfield were the two new releases. Pope's Exorcist came in uh, second with just over $9 million. Renfield came in fourth with just over $7 million. Uh, John Wick staying up there as is air. So, uh, Michaela, we we talked about our cocktail. We talked about what we got up to uh, while you were out of town on spring break. But what we're going to have to get up to now is to go start watching movies because we thought we made it through Oscars. We thought we were going to get to rest, but no rest for the wicked here because we got a lot of things coming out. So I'm just going to run through this list. You let me know um, if there are any highlights here for you. So coming this week uh, to your movie, th movie theaters, we've got Guy Ritchie's The covenant i guess uh, guy Ritchie uh thinks very highly of himself or the movie or both uh bo is afraid which is an a24 film uh joaquin phoenix is uh in that one probably going to be pretty crazy chevalier the evil dead rise a new evil dead uh entry i guess so i don't know if it's a reboot i don't know it's a it's a whole different thing it looks creepy i don't know and then coming to apple tv plus we've got anna de armas and chris evans uh ghosted uh michaela so a lot, a lot of things to watch this week, you know, plus our, our regular movie we have to watch. But, you know, these other five things, what stands out? What is interesting to you? What do you think? Well, I I like Guy Ritchie. I think some of the stuff that he's done uh, has been kind of hit or miss. So we'll see. Um, Bo is Afraid. I'm very in love with Joaquin Phoenix. Um, I think he's amazing. And so everything he watches, I pretty much watch. Um, he, it's So I'm definitely going to be watching that. I, it's tough because there's so many that are coming out. I don't know how I'm going to get the theater time. Um, Chevalier looks really cool. I don't know enough about that, um, that artist. And so I need to do some research on it. And this is yet another example of why I think it's great that movies are made. Because if you weren't a movies, music person or a music history person, um, you might not know who this person is, and it's a great way to educate yourself in a fun and entertaining way. So I'm excited about that. Evil Dead Rise, my husband's super excited about it. Uh, I don't know. Mm, we'll mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. And then Anna de Armas, I mean, she she was probably the best thing about that blonde movie um, because that movie <laughs> well, was awful. Um, that, is, that is not a high bar. That is not a high bar. But she is, <laughs> but she, she is excellent. But she did a good job. She did She's, a good job. She's she's excellent. Basically, in everything, she was excellent in the first Knives Out film. Uh, this looks like it's going to be uh, pretty fun. It's kind of like this rom com kind of thing where she's a secret agent. Um, her and Chris Evans get uh, caught up in this whirlwind adventure. So that could be fun, and that's going to be on TV, Apple TV Plus. That'll be easier to take in than heading out to the movie theater to see. Bo is afraid. Three hours. Ugh. Uh, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. I don't know, but Chevalier, like you said, that's uh that's a story that that. Kind of is interesting to me, so I'm interested to to see that, learn a little bit more about this uh, historical character there. So that's what we have coming out this week. Uh, let us know, listeners at home, if you're headed out to see any of these. Let us know if you make uh, one of these uh, ginger beer cocktails, uh, especially the Rosy Glow. We want to see pictures of it because it looks very lovely. Um, while you're at it, make sure you check out our Patreon. We have our John Wick 4 uh, full episode over there. We've got some Super Mario Brothers cocktails over there. That's on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash drink the movies. It's a really good way to get some bonus content and support the podcast and uh, stay tuned to the main feed Michaela we're talking a classic this week 1991's fried green tomatoes a tale of love and friendship uh, in Alabama fried green tomatoes we're going to be talking about all that uh, on the main show this week but I don't know Michaela that is that is it from the lobby bar this week we have some work to do so we better sign off we better we better but can we just make one more of this rosy glow because i don't feel rosy enough yet in my cheekies like my cheeks need more so we're gonna we're gonna have some more i'm gonna maybe put even more vodka in this one make it extra pink i don't know yeah that's right we'll need it to get through uh to get through all those movies this week so uh thank you for tuning in to the lobby bar and we'll talk to everyone next time <laughs>